So, hi folks, new year, new videos to show a bit of progress. So, first things first, loading some models. These were presets already, just deleting one. I'll just show you very quickly that you can also use uh, drag and drop um, to, well, show models from your local hard drive and things like that. This will, of course, be integrated better down the line, but this is just as a demo, of course. As you can see, it loads quite fast. Of course, I'm cheating. It's already cached, but still. Okay, well, let's move on to the actual point. So adding notes. These are all regrouped under annotations. You can add different annotations. So basically, a point of interest. Or, for example, in this case, uh, measurements, diameter. As you can see, this distance also. Like this between objects. And these are at least partially dynamic. It's, well, of course, a working progress. To show you by dragging this around, as you can see, it's updating the uh, distance measurement or annotation. And you can also select each and every one of these and actually type in a name or title for them. Here, let me do that. Sorry for the stuttering, by the way. My machine is not really up to speed. I'm having some bit of issues, so, but as you can see, yeah, you can add titles, uh, various notes to the annotation. Please ignore the variable, uh, third parameter that it's going to be explored a bit further in the future. So, of course, you can add these kind of things for all of the annotation types. So, basically, just notes, distance, thickness, uh, diameter, and angle. Uh, these, all these things should be uh, present on you imagine a bit further down the line. It's still work in progress, so as soon as it's clean and stable enough, it will, of course, show up there. So, still some dragging around. Uh, uh, by the way, I'm recording audio separately, so that's why things might be it's off sync. Uh, I wanted to showcase also some, a few things, but of course my PC decided to crash, so the demo is not quite as complete as I would like. Uh, you just saw an annotation disappear, by the way, that's normal. Um, the, I just pressed the delete key on the keyboard. You can, of course, also delete the annotations. And they are saved in very basic data structures, so they are easy to recall. Uh, in this case, I also store them in local storage for now, for at least for debugging, and you could store a lot of them in there. So here's some more deletion. As you can see, there's those were diameter, or, sorry, thickness measurements, and that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for more.